going through the briefing, they wanted to go on with their bill that they were bringing up um, tomorrow. The president's been very clear that um, it's not his, not the bill he would support, and um, Leader McConnell had said he's not bringing anything up that's not going to become law. Do you so he wants to make sure he solves it. The president is also wait. The president's also made it clear that his number one responsibility is to keep this country safe. And Secretary Nielsen wanted to go over some very alarming numbers, things that are actually happening at the border. What's happened last year? Last year alone, there were more than 3,700 known or suspected terrorists that were stopped from entering this country. So there are a lot of bad things happening. And the reason he wants to secure the border, the bill we passed in the House, that was the start of the negotiations, was over five and a half billion dollars for the fiscal year. They haven't put a counteroffer on the table. You saw the vice president negotiating. The president and vice president stayed here over the Christmas holidays, and there was absolutely no negotiation from the other side. So they want to keep delaying and have a government shutdown while President Trump has said he wants to secure the border. I'm sorry, yes? Can you explain specifically how Mexico is going to pay for this wall? What specific provisions of the USMCA are going to give uh, the money? And if that money is coming, why, why are you having this discussion about the American taxpayers? Look, why we're we having a discussion? Because we have a crisis on the border. Do you, know in this caravan, do you know in this caravan, one third of all the women are being, having a, some are being raped, some are being violently treated. We have children that have challenges coming through. We have another caravan starting to come. We have, we have a real challenge here. And I think that's why both sides can sit down, find a compromise that actually secures the border. We had everybody in the room said they want to have a secure border. So maybe we work a, a combination to make it solved. And I think that's why the president, I watched him in there stay very calm throughout the entire discussion. Um, he wanted to give the latest statistics going forward. And that is why we will be back on Friday. We want to make sure this border, we want to make sure the border is secure, but more importantly, we want to make sure this government is open. That's why we moved legislation. That's why the vice president went to the Senate um, when we had the challenge just a couple weeks ago. No counter offer came back. There was not a counter offer today, and I hopefully Friday there will be. Thank you very much. Shouldn't women at risk of rape be granted asylum? Shouldn't women at risk of rape be granted asylum? Shouldn't women at risk of rape be granted asylum? Good afternoon, Good afternoon, everyone. We just so what's your side? <laughs> Would you please let us speak? Yeah. Right. Tomorrow we will bring to the floor legislation which will open up government. It will be based on actions taken by the Republican Senate of bills that have passed on the floor of the Senate by over 90 votes and or in committee uh, unanimously, uh, led by Senator Mitch McConnell. It will also uh, present in a separate bill uh, the bill that M Mr. McConnell did for the continuing resolution for the Homeland Security bill until February 8th, using his exact date. We have given we have given the Republicans a chance to take yes for an answer. We have taken their proposals unamended by any House bipartisan uh, amendments, but but just staying true to what the Senate has already done. Our question to the President and to the Republicans is, why don't you accept what you have already done to open up government? And that enables us to have 30 days to negotiate for border security. Democrats have been committed to protecting our borders. It's the oath of office we take to protect and defend. It has been very important to us and we have committed resources to it when we were in the majority and will continue to do so. As a, as a I, no, no, no. You're going to let us each speak, please. Oh, sorry, I'll yield to the distinguished yeah, Thank you. So the bottom line is very simple. We asked the president to support the bills that we support that will open up government. We asked him to give us one good reason. I asked him directly. I said, Mr. President, give me one good reason why you should continue your shutdown of these of the eight cabinet departments while we are debating our differences on homeland security he could not give a good answer so we would hope that they would reconsider and would support the very bills 
that passed the Senate, four of them 92 to 6, two of them unanimously in the Appropriations Committee with Mitch McConnell's support. The only reason that they are shutting down the government is very simple. They want to try and leverage that shutdown into their proposals on home on border security. We have we want strong border security. We believe ours are better. But to use the shutdown as hostage, which they had no argument against, is wrong. And we would urge them respectfully to reconsider and support these bills, which are bipartisan, one of which Mitch McConnell proposed, open up the government as we continue to debate what is the best way to secure our border. Do you see this lasting very long, the shutdowns? We hope it doesn't. And we hope that they will not use the American people, the millions who depend on these eight departments, and the workers who are either not working or not getting paid as hostages to have a temper tantrum, pound the table and say it's our way or we hurt all these people. We hope that won't happen. And again, they couldn't give us one answer why they wouldn't support the first bill that Leader Pelosi and Leader, uh, that Speaker Pelosi and Leader Hoyer will put on the floor that will open up the government. Let me add this. Let me add this. Almost everybody in the room, I don't want to say everybody, believes that shutting down government is a stupid public policy. It puts 800,000 people uh, who work for the federal government at risk, and it puts millions of people who rely on the federal government on a daily basis at risk. We are, going, we are going to propose tomorrow a bill that has gotten the support of the Senate and the House. But the White House says it's a non-starter, sir, so why move forward? Because that is our responsibility as a co-equal branch of government, to do that but which we think is right. We, ho we hope he will compromise. He ought to compromise. We are for border security, but we are also for operating the people's government in an effective fashion. The bottom line, the bottom line is very simple. At our last meeting, the president said, I am going to shut the government down. They are now feeling the heat. It is not helping the president. It is not helping the Republicans to be the owners of this shutdown. Today, we gave them an opportunity to get out of that and open up the government as we debate border security. And to say to them, because he says he won't sign it and use the government as hostage, we should just give in. The American people don't want that. That's bad for our country, and that's not the way to govern. We're asking, uh, we're at, we're asking the president to open up government. We are giving him a Republican path to do that. Why would he not do it? Exactly. Why would he not do it? What about the talk of you? Is this a stunt, Senator? Would you like to take some questions? Senator, why did you interrupt this? We're here. We'd love if you stayed longer. We miss you.